Nostalgia, one of the top 10 causes of depression in the modern adult. You think back when things were great, your nostalgia kicks in. You used to think that Sailor Moon was a good anime. Or you remember when South Park was actually funny. Or you wish that video games these days were as good as they used to be back in the day. Or maybe you remember camping as being a fun experience. Nostalgia. It's lying to you. It's lying to you. Nostalgia is the biggest cause of heartbreak in my life. I remember when I remember when the Cinnamon Toast Ken channel was great. Wait, no, I don't. I don't remember that at all. Nostalgia. So today we're gonna go through a list of things only real 90 kids will be able to remember. So the first thing on the list is Disney Channel original movies. I don't actually remember any. What was, what is this Disney channel you speak of? All right, so the list is getting off to a real bad start. I don't actually remember Disney Channel original movies. We didn't have the Disney Channel growing up. There's probably gonna be a bunch of things on here from Nickelodeon. I didn't have cable growing up. I had your basic television and a Nintendo, and that was all I had, and the great outdoors. I remember when going outside was fun. Ugh, nostalgia, it's a lie, it's not fun. I also remember when Ninja Turtles was a good cartoon. Don't ever go back and watch it. Don't ever go back. Don't, if you, if you love something, never go back and look at it again. Don't, just don't do it. I remember when Final Fantasy VII was a good game. <laughs> Hanging posters on your wall. You have not experienced true fear until a poster falls down in the middle of the night. I didn't have this problem either. I was too poor to have posters. Oh, well, maybe not. You know, I could afford like a dollar poster, but my mom was not gonna let me put no poster on my wall. Mm -mm. So I wanted to have a Britney Spears poster on my wall so bad because she was, mm. Nostalgia, you remember when Britney Spears was fine? Ha! <laughs> but I can't imagine any anything scarier than that. Like you're like laying in your bed at night with like your, your Power Ranger pajamas on and you're laying there and then <laughs> What's that? Monsters, it must be It the Clown, the original when he was actually scary. <laughs> Nostalgia. Who they got on there? Saved by the Bell? Ugh. That, I remember when Saved by the Bell, you remember Saturday morning cartoons? God, we're old. There's people, there's young people watching this video right now. They're like, what? Cartoons are dumb. They're on, there's a channel for cart. No, every Saturday morning, starting like 6 a.m., maybe even earlier, cartoons came on and it was a magical time. You, you'd just be sitting there in your little, in your little briefs, you know, in your, in your long t-shirt, having like a, a bowl of tricks, because tricks are for kids, maybe some fruity pebbles, and you're just either watching, watching your cartoons. Ah. Oh. So great, so wonderful, but those are gone now. What was I even talking about? Saved by the Bell, that's right. Saved by the Bell came on after cartoons, like at like 3, 4 p.m. When, when all the cool cartoons are over. And that's when you just turned it off. You're like, no, I don't care anything about Saved by the Bell. This is not for me. I'm like 10 years old. What do I care about these losers? You were the coolest kid in existence if your ceiling had these little glowy stars on them. If you had like like this cool constellation on your roof, you turn the lights out, you like you come over to visit your friend's house, you're like, hey, watch this. They turn the lights out and then this green glow from the ceiling and you're just like, oh, wow. Then like every time your parents take you to the store, you're like, mom, I want the, I want the stars. I want the glow of the dark stars and put them on the ceiling. She's like, no, you can't have posters. You can't have stars on your ceiling. We're gonna have to try to sell this house one day. You can't draw on the walls either. <laughs> Ooh, nostalgia. Those stars are really cool though. They were cool. I still, I kind of still wish I had some today. I wish maybe I, maybe now that I'm an adult and I can do whatever I want, I'll just go buy a bunch of stars and put them on the roof in here. Be great. Be great. I wonder if Mary will let me. Ah, let's be friends. Oh, do you guys remember Furby? So Furby was this little toy, right? It's about like this tall and it's like this little, it was a little furry animal that had like this beak and these big eyes that blinked and it would talk to you and you could teach it words. It would like learn, not really. It would just kind of like, it would repeat stuff that you say often, kind of like a parrot. I don't even know how it really worked. It was really basic. It was like made in the 90s, so it couldn't have been that complicated. But they were banned because they recorded audio or some some weird reason. And like government was like, oh, we can't have that. They'll record our conversations. Spies. So one thing about the Furbies is I'm pretty sure they were possessed by Satan. When the battery started running down, your Furby would be like, hello, let's be friends. In the middle of the night, you'd be like, ah! And then your poster falls off the wall and you're like, ah, it's a clown, no! And everything just goes to heck. It's probably all they're really banned. Satan. Nostalgia. Oh, oh, back in the day. Oh, I feel my age. Oh, my back. 
Oh, how to pass notes in school. We didn't have phones. We didn't text each other. Uh, back in my day, we wrote on pieces of paper and made paper footballs and flicked them at each other. Then you had to hold your hand up and get like the uprights and it hit you in the face. And you're like, yeah, you made it. And what does it say? It's like, do you like me? Check yes or no. And you're like, <gasps> oh my gosh. But these days, you just like take a picture of your junk and send it to her on, <laughs> on Snapchat, right? Is that how it works these days? Is that how 10 year olds do it? Oh, here it is, here it is. There's, do you like me? Yes or no, even a maybe. <laughs> Tinder? No, we didn't need Tinder. I mean, I don't know, what, how old was I? Maybe, I don't know, how, what, what age do you gotta be to actually use Tinder? I even like the little faces. Yes? No. That's a lot of pressure on my, my childhood right there. I don't wanna make her sad, so I'll just check maybe. I don't know, maybe. I don't know what to say, I'm a kid. Oh yeah, computer games, space cadet. 3D pinball, heck yeah, you're in like your, your computer class, you found out where the pinball game was, ooh yeah, you could play it for like a whole three minutes before you got either bored or the teachers told you to stop. It was, it, was, it was a pinball game, it was cool back in the day when like your one friend had Duke Nukem and you like, oh, you kinda like, shh, sh sh you start playing it and you go and like give the girl the dollar bill and she like, you know, Gives you, gives you a show real quick, like a quick flash of the, these these pixel pepperoni looking nips and you're like, oh, ah, what a great game. Nostalgia. <laughs> oh man, drawing the S's. Drawing these S's was like the coolest thing ever. I remember doing this because I was like, oh, it's so cool. And now I'm like, why? Where did this S even come? What was this? You would just write them everywhere. Maybe there's some like old bags of dirt out there like me that remember when this place called Blockbuster existed. Used to, if you wanted to watch a movie that wasn't in the movie theater, you had to go to your local video store and rent. You had to pay like five bucks to borrow a movie and you had to bring it back. And there were these things called VHSs, these magical black rectangles that had tape inside of them. You would watch it in your VCR, and then when you're finished, you had to rewind the tape. It was the greatest thing ever. You had to work to watch your movies. Nostalgia, you're like sitting on the couch, you know, like, yo, yeah, what's up, girl? Trying to, trying to get you some VHS and chill, and then the tape ends. <laughs> made this loud noise while it's rewinding, and you're like, shh, my parents are gonna hear, shh, shh, And then sometimes you would get a, a video from this blockbuster, and it wouldn't even be, re you'd start it, and it'd be like at the end of the movie, and you're like, oh, now I gotta rewind for like a minute and a half. Playing outside, yes, I actually do remember playing outside. It was a lot of fun. Like kids nowadays, I probably prefer to play video games, but I'd go outside from time to time get sunburnt, you know. I got this picture right here of this metal slide here on the left. It's a death trap. Don't do it. If you got like short shorts on, your skin's gonna like stick and go and then it's gonna be really hot from the sun and you're just gonna like be a, a big piece of burnt bacon by the time you get to the bottom of it. Not cool. Not cool at all. Taking photos. You had to use this little camera. It would go and you'd wind it. You can't even check to see if the picture was good. You had to take them to a store, have them developed, wait like a week to get your pictures. Some other dudes looking at your nudes and stuff. Then you get them and they all suck. <laughs> oh man, everything used to be so hard. Everything used to be so hard back in the day. God. Oh my God. This young man has seven, I say seven, Tamagotchis. Oh my word. Tamagotchis, your digital pet. That throws me back. I had a Tamagotchi, I got one for Christmas. It was like this little one frame per five seconds animal that you took care of and you had to clean its poop up, you had to feed it and it would evolve. It would evolve into different stuff. It was like Pokemon before Pokemon almost. It may have came around the same time as Pokemon. Everybody freaking had one. And then if you didn't take care of him and he got too poopy, he would turn to like this poop monster and they'd be like, oh, you got the, oh, you suck. Oh man, take care of your Tamagotchi, man. It'd start beeping at you, you had like an alarm, you're like eating dinner with your family. Like, oh, oh wait, I gotta take care of my, my, my digital baby here. Hold on a second. <gasps> Two toys, two things that I remember. Those were both really cool toys when I was a kid. The parachute, and there's kids in there right now. You'd all stand in a big circle and you'd throw it up in the air. You'd all run up under it and close it behind you. It was like the most fun thing ever. The other, the, the wood toy, I don't even know what it is. Every like doctor's office had it. You're like, you gotta go to the doctor. And you're like, oh cool, the wood thing. You just sit there and just kind of push around these pieces for 50, 30 an hour while you wait for the doctor because you know, you got there on time. I don't know what this nectar of the gods was, but back for some reason back in the day, medicine tasted like bubble gum and it was delicious. They stopped doing it, but it was just be like straight up, just bubble gum flavor. You're like, oh, I'm so sick. I just like ate a whole pack of gum, I think. Oh man, I almost hope I get sick so I can have that bubble gum medicine. 
I wonder why they stopped doing it. I wonder if it was killing people. We never knew. Whoa, Game Boy Color. Whoa, I remember a Game Boy Color. I remember the old school Game Boy. Do I have one around here? So the Game Boy Color, this thing, it was, it was so cool. You had Pokemon and it actually had like one color. <laughs> like if you had Pokemon red, it kind of had the, had the shade of red. If you had Pokemon blue, it kind of had the shade of blue on there. It was fun and it was like handheld Nintendo going in the right direction like the early days. Man, the Viewmaster, I had one of these when I was a kid. It was this thing you put over your eyes, right? And it had this film that you can see and each little film had a picture, of course. And you would hold it and you like look up at a light and you'd be like, Ch -ch -ch. it'd be like a picture of a deer, Ch -ch -ch. picture of a cow, Ch -ch -ch. picture of a horse. And it was, it, I don't know what the real point was because you could, you could, you could buy more film, but after you kind of played with it for 30 minutes, maybe looking at all the different pictures over and over again, you never really touched it again. It was kind of a cool concept at the time, but thinking back on it, it was kind of a real crap toy. Grow your own pet. Okay, so these capsules, right? There's these capsules, you'd stick them in water, you'd put them in a glass of water and leave them for like a day. Do whatever, you come back the next day, keep coming in and checking on it. And it's like this weird blob that's like, kill me, and like, it's okay, pet, you're growing. But then the next day, it'd be like this sponge that absorbed the water and you have whatever you have. And then you're like, oh yeah, and you kind of go rah, rah, rah. It's like, oh, it's wet, and you throw it away. It was a complete waste of money. Oh man, you used to be able to get your ketchup in weird wacky colors. You want some green goop on your fries? Yeah, they got you. You want some purple stuff on your cheeseburger? Funky purple? Yeah, got you. I remember these and I, I remember them not tasting very good. They, they didn't taste like good ketchup. They taste like probably a lot of food coloring. Even the commercial that had like both bottles like, yeah, this is so cool. And you're like a kid watching TV like, ah, I gotta have it. And then you have it and you're like, ah, ah, too much nostalgia. Ah, making me hate my life. Uh, watch the ads and give me money. I also have merch now. Check it out. Ah. 